Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to operate the Digiphone 2 Plus in Feralux mode. Let's get started. The Feralux IFS is used for cable locating. It can be used in many modes and for many applications. In this video, we will focus on direct buried cables and locating in both an energized state and a de-energized state while using a transmitter. This is the screen that appears when the Digiphone indicator unit is plugged into a Feralux IFS tracing sensor. The center represents the sensor unit. The green line represents the cable's proximity to the sensor. The arrows on the left and right indicate the direction the sensor needs to move in order to be centered over the cable. The number represents the distance in feet that the sensor is from the cable. The bar on the bottom indicates the signal strength that the sensor is receiving and has a red bar that represents the maximum signal strength received. The plus sign on the top left is the signal select indicator. This is used when a transmitter is being utilized to locate cables. This number represents the frequency that has been selected for use in locating. It will be 50 Hz for locating on energized cable or a variety of options for locating with a transmitter on de-energized cable. The control knob can be used to open the menu by pressing down on it. Rotate the knob in order to scroll through the options and then pressing the knob to select the option. After connecting the device and turning the unit on, the first step when locating energized cables is to select the proper frequency function. Press the control knob to open the menu and scroll over to the frequency option. Select the 50 Hz option. The 50 Hz mode will locate both 50 and 60 Hz systems. The Feralux is now ready to detect. Once you are in the area where the cable is suspected to be, the next step is to orient the Feralux to the cable. If the cable indicator is in line with the IFS on the display, the IFS is oriented with the cable. If it shows the cable at an angle from the IFS, rotate it until the line is oriented correctly. Next, use a sweeping motion to center the IFS over the cable. The arrows will indicate the direction that the IFS needs to move in. As the IFS gets closer, the signal strength will increase. The green cable indicator will also move as a visual indicator of the cable's location in relation to the IFS. Mark the cable location as required. When using the IFS on de-energized cables, ensure that all applicable safety requirements have been followed and that the cable is grounded on the end opposite the signal generator. If the cable has a shield or a concentric neutral, ensure that it is grounded as well on both ends. Connect the red output lead from the generator to the center conductor of the cable. Connect the black output lead from the generator to the ground spike, which should be driven close to the generator. Next, power on the signal generator and press the control knob in order to access the menu. In the main menu folder, select the frequency option. Now, select the frequency you would like to output. For this, I will select 9.8 kHz. I will then go into the same menu on the Digiphone indicator unit and follow the same options to select 9.8 kHz for the IFS. Now that the signal generator is connected and set up, press the power button briefly to begin outputting a signal into the cable. Trace the cable in the same manner as before using a sweeping motion to detect the signal. Mark the cable as required. This concludes the presentation on how to operate the Digiphone 2 Plus in Fairlux mode. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or for more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.